And what's up? Okay. Today, 25 years ago today, I gave birth to my very first child, my firstborn son, and today is his birthday. And he is 20 years old today. And Hold on. Mm -hmm. This is good. Let me put this shit down. Cause I didn't think it was going to mess up the video. I thought I was going to still be able to eat my candy. But I'm not going to be able to. So we're just going to put that to the side. Well, at any rate. Um, last week. My son got the notice that, remember, he had applied for a different position in there before. And so, at any rate, it started last week. And so, he was off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, actually, last night was his first night. But they told him last Thursday, his last day of work. So, now he goes um, from 1.30 to 10. And so today, um, we're going to go to lunch after Wendy uh, goes off. I didn't even know this motherfucker was ripped. Ain't that something? I don't know if y'all can see that, but uh, this, it, the damn thing straight ripped. Can you see that? Oh, well. I got this from the Goodwill. I never put it on before. I just washed it. But that's a little, that's an easy fix, though, because it's just a little dot, dot, dot right there. No problem. But I, I have washed it and I never wore it. And so um, I just I picked it up and threw it on. Okay. And so it was just hanging up and it was clean. And it was, you know, I like the colors in it for today. And I was like, okay, well, I'll throw this on. But this ain't going to work all day. I see this right now because I'm not getting ready to fix this before I leave from here. So I'm just going to have to change my clothes and put on something else. That's what that's going to mean. But anyway, so yeah, um, so he works from 1.30 to 10, and so last night, I didn't have to, you know, get up, because I had been getting up and taking that, picking that boy up 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, every night, you hear me? Every night, and so now, and, and I've been doing that for about a year. Now, I don't have to do that anymore, so I'm just so excited about that. I'm just so, so, so excited about that. Now, the last time he had it like that, it was somewhere around January or something, but somebody had went on vacation or something. It was around the holiday, around January-ish or something, and so he was going in around 12 or something and was getting off, you know, somewhere around that time. So it was somewhere around up in there, I don't remember, that he, he had these type of hours, but... Man, I'm so happy about it, and I slept so good. Oh, my God, I slept so, so, so good. I didn't have to get up. Baby called me this morning. He was like, how would you sleep? I was like, Shh, good. I slept so good. He was like, because you didn't text me good night. You didn't call me. You ain't said nothing. What was that about? What? First of all, I had to, I had, um, I was in a sauna for about a good hour and ten minutes last night. But the reason why I was in there like that is because I would open up the door, you know, texting him and putting the phone on the, you know, on the carpet, on the, on the rug outside the door. And when he, you know, respond and my phone ring off, and then I open back up the door and then I text him back. And I, you know, I was doing it like that. And so, and I was, we was doing this for, oh my God, that whole hour and something. So that's why I was like, okay, to make up for the times that... You know, I continue to keep opening up the door and all that kind of stuff. So, I went, I stayed in there for about a good hour and 15, 20 minutes easily. And I didn't even trip. I had put it back up to 60 minutes and was just, I was cool. And so, um, I did that. And then also, I steamed last night. And I just needed it. You know what I mean? I just needed it. I, I need, my body needed to heal. You know what I mean? It felt like I've been in a fight. Shit. I was like, you know what? Why in the hell you, like, you just, you know? Damn. Shit. 
So yeah, I needed that. My body needed that. I needed to just lay out and just, you know, allow my body to heal naturally. And that's what heat does. Heat is very healing and soothing. And for those of you guys that, um, you know, go into the sauna or thinking about doing, bringing, incorporating that into your healthy lifestyle, when I tell you that's the best damn thing you can ever fucking do for your body, for real, getting in the sauna, that's the best detail. I don't give a damn what kind of tea they talking about. I don't care nothing about, okay, well, if you take this supplement, this, 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 to heal your body from the inside out is heat. A lot of disease processes cannot, not only can they not live in an alkaline state, but they also can't live in heat. So when you give your body extensive amounts of heat like that, you know, not to the point where, you know, you start to feel nauseous because, like, in the inside it has these warnings, you know, if you got high blood pressure and things of that nature, of course you can't sit in there for 45 minutes, less known an hour and 20, you know. But according to your comfort level, to heal your body from the inside out, to um, cleanse your pores. And, you know, you wonder sometimes on how, you know, some people have a glow or some people, their skin is just so cleansed and clear. Like last night, I mean, I just went through a full ritual last night. I was in the sauna for an hour and 20 minutes, texting back and forth with Bae. Then I got in the shower did, now, first of all, while I was in the um, sauna, I completely dry brushed, sloughed my whole body off, you know, because I hadn't done that in, a, in the last couple of days because I've been up there with him. So I was like, okay, let me, not like I was trying to get you up off me, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to get back to just me by myself, shit. Cut the blue light on my ass, shit. I was just, whoa, uh-uh. I had to get my hair back, rebraid it up, uh-uh, now. Oh, my shit was toe up. So yesterday, I was like, I know I said that I was going to come on yesterday and, you know, talk about, you know, my Goodwill haul and do that. Because I will be doing those on Mondays um, because Mondays are military days. And so um, we're going to share that in a few minutes. But we back on my bed right now. Anyway, but yeah, it was, I had to get you up off of me. You know what I mean? I had to sweat you completely out of my system. I had to slough off and, you know, I just had to, I did it all. Girls, when I tell you I did it all, I did it all. I brought out the waterworks. I also steamed. Even after all that, I had, uh, even after being in that sauna for all that length of time, and I know you're probably thinking, oh, my God, you didn't feel faint? I was drinking so much alkaline water, and alkaline water is so, the benefits for your body, and especially during that peak time where your body is already hot, and you're you're infusing it with alkaline. Oh my God! You, it's like, um, what is one of them superheroes? And it's like they getting they they'll show them getting some juice put in them, and it's like it be green or something. And then it's like it's, it's revitalizing them and refixing them up and shit. Yeah, it, it 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 does it like that for me. Okay, it does it like that for me. It might not do it like that for everybody else, but for me. I break my fast with alkaline water when I'm steaming or sauna and doing things like that. And I'm secreting a lot of toxins out of my system and I'm sweating profusely. I'm regenerating and rebringing it back with alkaline. So with that, how can you not, how, how can you fail? You know, how can, senior. So how can you really fail when you're doing those types of things to your body, you know? And, uh, so, yeah, so, and then after all of that, I steamed, and the steam is set for a 20-minute shot. And if you want to extend it longer than 20 minutes, then, therefore, you can set the timer. Um, it, I have a remote control, and I can set the remote control to where I can receive my calls while I'm in there because it is Bluetooth-enabled. I can, you know, radio whatever it, it has a um fm radio and it also by being bluetooth enabled so then therefore i can connect it with my um ipod and so you know i could just sit in there and just post up put the seat down boom i i steamed out the vajayj i did it all do you understand me and what was so cold with it while i was in there i also took my neutrogena rain bath and hit me with that, because I had dry brushed while I was in the sauna, so, you know, I was really sloughing off my skin and, you know, and all that. So now that my pores are open, and now I'm really releasing toxins and all that stuff, so I was like, okay, 
Now let me put some moisture back, and so I moisturize back with the rain bath <coughs> and the Neutrogena um, bath oil, um, sesame seed bath oil as well. I hit my body with that. And also, um, I had used my Lemur, and I had um, extracted my pores. So I don't have on any makeup, no nothing. Um, I have about maybe three minks on this eye and maybe three or four on this one. I'm just letting them come off because I'm trying to get, um, you know, I want to thicken my, my eyelashes. So then therefore, because it is something that I want to regularly do, but you also have to get up off of it a little bit because otherwise it weakens your lashes and it takes six weeks for lashes to regenerate. So... So I'm trying to, you know, thicken up my lashes again so I have the stuff to do that. And um, while I'm on this little respite, if I need lashes, then I'll just put on some strips. But, oh my God, wait a minute, how about I had my strips on? Woke up Sunday morning, one of the motherfuckers was all flipped up. I was like, oh my God. He didn't say shit either. He we was, we was just talking like it wasn't nothing, like it wasn't nothing. I said, this whole motherfucker... This was just hold on from the middle. This whole corner was out. This was out. So that motherfucker was winged out. Over here was twisted. But oh my God. It was horrible. Horrible. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> my eyelashes was stuck. For real. So anyway. But I like the minks because you don't ever have to worry about those things. You know what I mean? And honestly, I'm going to do my shit myself. So I'm just in the process of getting all what I need. I done had it done long enough to where I know what's happening. And I'm about to go ahead and I'm about to run that. Y'all going to be like, oh, who did it? I'm going to say, uh, uh, done by me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, shit, if I could change my toilets out of my house and I can fix my plumbing and fucking, uh, uh, clean the pool and clean the filter and all that old type of shit and, 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 and you know what I'm saying, put ceiling fans and shit in rooms and shit, uh, yeah, doing that, yeah, I got that, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker can put bricks on the car, you know what I mean, take the alternator out, do that, change the thermostat, um, that would be me, I know how to do those things, yeah, don't mess with me, shit, so, um, but anyway, uh, so I had to, you know, I had to just, you know, go through my cleansing ritual, and everything. I didn't have no goddamn period, which had me low-key nervous, but I ain't gonna worry about it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna worry about that shit no motherfucking more. Because the doctor already said, well, Tina, sometimes you'll have it, sometimes you won't have it. But your IUD is still in place, so it's not like... And then I got so much scar tissue around the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, you know, but it's up so high to where it's, it's not... You know, for, of course it's not affecting... You know, my sex, my sex life, or any pain, or none of that kind of stuff. None of that, okay? That motherfucker's just in there chilling. They like, you know what, look. At first, um, September 30th, that I was going to go in, and I was going to have a DNC. And that's what I was kind of, you know, hitting around. I didn't want to talk about it, but I was going in, and they were going to remove it and, and give me a full DNC and all that stuff. But I was like, okay, well, what are we going to do after that? Because I'm going to need you to put something back up in that motherfucker by the time I wake up. Because, uh, um, look, I'm very active. I have one man in my life, and this is what it is. You know what I mean? So, um, I, 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 uh... You know what I mean? What what, what else we about to do? Because I'm not finna be pregnant nothing at 40 something. Fuck that. Now, here my baby will be uh, 15 years old in five days. Do you think I'm trying to start over? What the hell, you priest? For real? I don't understand that, but I guess for a first-time mother, if you're a first-time mother and you in your 40s and you want to have a baby, okay, that's a little bit different. But if you already got three or four of them motherfuckers and you turn around, nigga, uh, that was a decision that was fucked up along the way. That didn't make no sense, did it? It's like, uh oh, I done turned around and got. No, that ain't what you planned, motherfucker. You know you ain't playing that shit. That's just the way the shit went down. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, won't be me. How about that? Won't be me because I ain't going to be able to do that. Okay? I ain't going to be able to do that shit. 40 something motherfucking years old, and I'm. Nigga, I am not married to no motherfucker that's owning shit. Not like that. The way, you know what I'm saying? Now, I can understand Jenny wouldn't did that, all that old type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's her first baby, according to some motherfuckers, which it don't make no difference to me, no way. It ain't my business, you know what I mean? But at any rate, look what the fuck she married to. Nigga, if you don't run this motherfucking pro how many do you want? What? Because, first of all, her snapback is gonna be ridiculous. 
That motherfucker going to be players of principal all around this motherfucker in a minute. Y'all better wait and see what, what the fuck Janet going to do. Now, yeah, Destiny's Child about to go back on and do their thing and going to go back on tour and all that. It, you know, it's, it's speculation and talk around, swirling around that they about to do that. I believe that they will. But all I'm saying is this right here. Don't sleep on Miss motherfucking Jackson if you nasty. You understand? Because trust and believe when she come back out in this motherfucker with this little bitty goddamn baby, <clears throat> Body going to be flawless. You understand? Because she got the coin to do that. You know what I mean? When you got the money to be able to fix your shit on how you want to, man, ain't no, it don't make no difference. It don't make no motherfucking sense for you to have a vacancy in your goddamn mouth. And you got you got a residual income. You got, you got money that you could just do whatever the fuck you want to do with. It don't make no damn sense. How the, wait, let me say this. Let me put this back because I felt like something was going on. But when you have disposable income, let me say that. When you have disposable income, what the hell are you supposed to look like? Like on some real shit. If you have disposable income, what are you supposed to look like? Because people seem to have a problem when you have a little extra coin to do whatever the hell you want to do with it. People want to micromanage your money on where you should spend it at. Um, but... Really? How? What you supposed to look like? Look like? Because I'll be goddamn if I got two or three extra hundred dollars and I got a motherfucking vacancy in the front of my goddamn mouth. That's gonna be a negative. It's gonna be a no to that. Okay? That's gonna be a complete motherfucking no with no veto. You understand me? That is a no. A no. Okay? So, you know, at any rate, you got where I'm coming from. <laughs> Bottom line is, I had to smudge my system. You know what I mean? I had to smudge my system just a little bit. You know what I mean, baby? I'm back on 10. I bought that ass just called me a while ago. Um, baby, when you coming back home, motherfucker? Excuse me. Because I, my pride. <laughs> he said, well, I got to be a motherfucker. Okay, excuse me. But, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, I can't just do that like that, you know what I mean, I am a mother, you know what I mean, even though my kids are big kids, but you know, my son had a three-day weekend, so that's how that, why, reason why that was like that, you can't bank on that like that, because he don't have three-day weekends all the time, so it is what it is on that, anyway, let's push on forward, um, y'all, you see my baby took me to Universal Studios, I've been wanting to go for so long, remember, and one day I was telling you guys on Facebook, and to him, which I don't know if I, um, came on here and really talked about it or not. But on Facebook, I was talking about this dream that I had. And I was I had went to Universal Studios. And this was this vivid dream. Now, mind you, I haven't been to Universal Studios. My son is 20 today. And I think the last time that I went with them, he was probably between 5 and 8. You know, so then Isaiah had to be round 3 because we had the stroller and all that kind of shit. But that was the last time that I went. Now, Tony took the kids a couple years back, and they all went back, you know, but they did horror nights and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, but I, I'm just, I don't do uh, goblins and the walking deads and all that shit. I don't do none of that motherfucking shit. So when he just impromptu my ass Friday night, and I'm thinking bullshit, you know. He was like, babe, what, what we doing What we doing this weekend? I'm like, I don't know. What we going to, I don't know what you want to do. He was like, let's get up and go to Universal Studios Saturday. Okay. Now, first of all, it is Halloween motherfucking weekend. Okay. Now, it's going to be some Dracula, some motherfucking Jasons and Krugers, and motherfucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre and all them motherfuckers. It's going to be walking around, and this motherfucker right here, and his arm done fell off, and this one right here bleeding by the mouth. I'm not going to be able to roll with that program. I'm not going to be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's know on sleep will be able to do two or three motherfucking weeks. I'm going to need every light on, plus this motherfucking uh, diffuser right here. I'm going to need some soft tunes and some lights going around this motherfucker on some twinkle, twinkle, little star type shit. All kinds of shit to get my mind off this bullshit that I done just seen. Now, uh, when he said this Friday, I was like, okay, babe, all right, 
Because I wanted to go to Universal Studios because it was what I've always been wanting to do. I wanted to go back, but I wanted to go back and not have all these motherfucking backpacks and meet me by the so-and-so at such and such a time. And what you got? You got money in your pocket and what you need? Oh, did you go to the bathroom and make sure you tie your jacket around your waist? Man, I'm, look. Uh, 